What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. Merry Christmas. Apologies for the poor video quality. Uh, driving home in the dark right now. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed their holiday today. Uh, this is going to be a combination video, a little Jets talk, a little mental health talk. Uh, just starting with the game tomorrow. Um, my expectations are what they are at this point in the season. I'm just excited that we're almost finally at the end of the season. Um, I am anxious to see how Wilson's going to do going up against Trevor Lawrence, but I, I think just, you know, the, the situation that Wilson's been in and even Trevor Lawrence, you know, uh, pretty much every rookie other than Mac Jones was put into a, a perfect situation. All of these rookies have pretty much struggled this year, so I think it's crazy to, you know, try and compare any of the situations that are out there right now. Um, there's clearly a ton that this kid has to learn. You know, we've acknowledged all the tools that he has, and now it's just a matter of, you know, getting the reps and starting to put it together and, and gain some confidence. So uh, I'm excited to see if he can at least build a little bit over these last three weeks and give us something to look forward to, some positive momentum going into next season. That would be nice. Uh, but the Jets are going to be incredibly shorthanded. They're, they're minus two guards, plus Becton's still out, plus your top two receivers are, you know, still going to be out. So this is not going to be easy for the Jets, and it, it almost feels like Trevor Lawrence is still kind of due for that breakout game. And wouldn't it just be fitting if he did it in a, in a half-empty MetLife Stadium. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, but the real reason I wanted to just do this video right now, I, I know that this time of year from, you know, Thanksgiving going all the way up until New Year's, so many people struggle with mental health issues and so many people I feel like are afraid to acknowledge it, mention it, talk about it because it's the time of year that everybody's supposed to be so happy. You don't want to be a Debbie Downer. You don't want to bring anybody else down. You, you know that everybody else is, you know, trying to, you know, enjoy this time of year, but you might be struggling with things. And for me, it's always been um, a, a delicate balance of kind of being on both ends of the extreme where it's like one minute, I might really be going through it, whether it's, you know, thinking too much in the past, thinking too much into the future, you know, worrying about loved ones that aren't doing well, you know, is this my last Christmas with them, um, you know, thinking about loved ones that aren't there anymore, you know, th th this time of year, I think, tends to stir up a, a lot of different types of emotions, so I think it's only natural that some people, um, you know, find it hard to, to get through these times, depending on what your situation may be, um, but, you know, for me, I, I always try to at least keep it somewhat in perspective as far as just appreciating what you have now and you know when I when I do find that I am looking too much into the future I, I really just try to bring it back to you know when when that time does come when I am in the future when you know when I am in that situation that my anxiety might be worried about um, you know once that that time period does eventually arrive do I want to be able to say that I lived my life to you know the best of my ability that you know I tried to get the most out of my life that, you know, I, I genuinely put myself out there and put myself in positions and situations to try to better myself? Or, you know, did I take the easy way out and did I live a, a life full of regret? And did I not experience things? Did I not challenge myself? And, you know, I think that would probably be, you know, I'm not there yet, but I, I think that would probably be the worst place to be is where you eventually get older and you're looking back at your life saying, damn, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do, why didn't I do that? And, you know, it, it's hard, I think, in the moment when you're going through it because you kind of turn back to that place of, well, why do I even care? You know, what does it even matter for? You know, and, and I think that's like the, the worst mindset to get into, the mindset that I tend to get into when I'm really struggling, which is that, you know, eventually we're all going to be in the same spot. So why do we try so hard? To, to make something of this life, you know, we're, we're, we're all gonna, you know, eventually pass on, we're all eventually gonna, you know, lose loved ones, and, you know, we're all gonna kind of go through the same things, so why do we put so much pressure on ourselves to, to live this great, perfect life, and, and to do all these things, you know, and like I said, when I'm, when I'm going good, I could see it for what it's worth, and that, yes, your time is limited, it's very, very short, and you want to make sure that you don't have any regrets, and that, you know, you have made the most of those opportunities. And so I, I think this time of year, for whatever reason, it just, it really brings out just a, a lot of different emotions. You know, like for me, just like thinking as a kid to all those times that I was just, you know, a brat when my parents were doing everything they could to, you know, just try and give us all a great Christmas. And, you know, my dad working two jobs and not having a ton of money, but there was always still plenty of gifts under the tree and everything else. Like you start thinking of all these things and it, it, it gets you emotional. And again, like I said, even if it's you know, just about people that aren't there anymore or worrying about who's not going to be there next year and, and, and things like that, when it's going to be your turn not to be there, you know, all these things that are beyond our control, uh, I feel like, you know, this time of year especially, 
uh, it's hard to, to drown those things out sometimes. Those voices in our head that, that really fuck us up, it's very hard to drown them out sometimes. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, I hope you are in a, in a positive mindset this time of year. You know, I always try to stick with, you know, just, you know, trying to stay through, uh, stay with my routine, um, not get out of that, although it, it's not easy. I try to have my escapes that, you know, I, I build into my routine, you know, which is, you know, working out, going to, you know, going to jet games, tailgates, doing the live streams, like all these things are a way to kind of, you know, stick with the routine, but also kind of get out of like the, the normal nine to five, go to work, go home. You know, you got to have things that, that you do for you. And, you know, if working out gives you peace of mind, you know, try to do that every day. If, if watching sports gives you peace of mind, do that. But, you know, find those things that genuinely provide you with an escape where, you know, your mind is just cleared, you're free. And that's one of the first things that turned me on to sports at, at a very young age. You know, I had a lot of anxiety when I was a kid. And I, I realized very, very early that when I'm at a sports game, when I'm watching sports, when I'm talking with people about sports, you know, my, my mind is at ease. I'm, I'm not anxious. I'm not worried. I'm not nervous. I'm just kind of going with the flow and I get lost in, in the moment. I get lost in the excitement of the crowd. And that's probably the biggest reason that, you know, I love being a season ticket or I loved being a season ticket holder. And I love being at all the games. It's, it's the excitement of the crowd and just kind of getting lost in that atmosphere. So it, it really sucks. That's why I take it so personally with just, you know, what the, the stadium atmosphere has become. Because I feel like that that part of me that's been able to escape for so long, like going to Jet Games eight times a year and just you know getting away from everything, now it's almost like you go to the tailgate and you get away from everything. But then once you go inside the building, once you actually you know sit down to watch the game, you're still miserable and there's really no escape there anymore. There's no crowd, there's no life, there's no atmosphere. It's just you you walk in and you know, you, you just count down the the minutes until you're sitting in traffic going home. So. It, it, it's a it's a different kind of crowd now. It's a different kind of stadium atmosphere, one that I think we're all still getting adjusted to, and it obviously doesn't help, you know, the fact that the Jets haven't had a winning product in over a decade. So it is what it is. But you know, hopefully uh, you guys are all doing well. Hopefully uh, you know some people will come out tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be there. I believe we're going to be in lot D tailgating. So if you're there, reach out to us. Uh, hopefully we'll have some food. I don't know if there's going to be any uh, grocery stores open prior to the game, but I'll see what I could do. But otherwise, again, hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know, if you are struggling with anything, myself, Tyson, you know, we're always available to chat. You know, just reach out to us via DMs or in the comments section. We'll be glad to help you with anything that you might be going through. Otherwise, try to stay positive. You know, try to get those New Year's resolutions uh, resolutions in check. I already made my list. Uh, you know, I, I try to always start a little bit before New Year's just to, you know, give myself some accountability and start the new year on the right note. Um, I, I think a lot of people, you know, we aim too high with our resolutions, which is why they usually fail. But, you know, try to come up with a couple things that you really want to focus on for the new year, whether it's, you know, physical health, mental health, just something to put you in a good space and, you know, try to start it early and then really get on top of it in the new year. Otherwise, hope you guys are well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Talk to you guys soon.